It's Wes. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to do a comparison of image quality between the Canon EOS R and the Canon 5D Mark IV. Which takes the better image? Let's go. You're a beautiful person and you're a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first one to tell you that. All right, today we have something special lined up for you. Last year I bought the Canon EOS R and I bought it based primarily on how it made me feel. I love the feel of it in my hands. I love the mirrorless system, the lightweight, the touch and drag, autofocus, all that. I've talked about it, I've talked about it. But what I haven't done is a legitimate image comparison to see which takes better pictures, Canon 5D or Canon EOS R. And today, that's exactly what we're gonna do. All right, it's time to compare the image quality of the EOS R to the 5D Mark IV. All right, to compare these two cameras, I'm gonna take four different types of photos and compare each to each. One's gonna be a car photo with a strobe. One's gonna be a portrait with a strobe. One's gonna be food photography, and one's gonna be a landscape or cityscape because I'm here in downtown Santa Ana. All right, so without further ado, let's move right into the car photo. All right, I repositioned the car a little bit uh, to get a better angle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be shooting with the 15 to 35 RF lens uh, on, on the EOS R, obviously, and then the 16 to 35 EF lens on the Canon 5D Mark IV. Because I have the light here, and I'm going to have it kind of pointing down. I'm going to change angle so it's coming down 45 degree angles towards the mirror right here. Now, if I'm bold enough and I get it dialed in, I'll jump in the photo and have a self-portrait, but I want that light hitting right here. Right here's a point of reflection on the car that lines up kind of with this gap between the buildings. So I want that to be the focal point. I've been taking the pictures with the Canon EOS R. I've set that up to film here. And um, I got the settings that I wanted dialed in. So I have to change this to F10. So small aperture to let in the, um, the power of the sun. Um, and then I'm gonna hit the strobe with the one over one, but I'm also gonna be at 1 250th for the shutter and ISO 100. I just finished uh, taking the pictures of the car, car photography. Um, on the roof of this parking structure up here. And so can you guess which is the EOS R and which is the 5D? I'm gonna put the pictures up now. Take your guess, A or B? All right, hopefully you guessed right. And uh, I don't know that I could tell. I think in camera, the LCD, the display, the 5D Mark IV looked better. For some reason it looked sharper, the color looked better, but um, yeah. We'll see. All right, now I'm on my way for picture number two, which is probably gonna be food photography, cocktail photography. I'm gonna go into downtown Santa Ana, one of these establishments here. And I'm gonna look for a place where they'll let me take pictures of a cocktail or, or food, and we'll compare and see how the cameras do. The very first place I went into, asked if they'd make me a drink for the camera shootout was Burden Barrel. I've been here once before and they say they make mostly tequila or whiskey based drink. And so we're gonna see which camera captures their amazing drink the best. Tell me your name again. I'm Phil. I'm Phil. Phil. Tell me about this drink. All right, this drink, this drink was a pair with Elijah Craig. Um, it is muddled with mint and uh, maple syrup. We then had some grapefruit juice, mix it all together, shake it up, and then pour it beautifully into the grass. We then follow it up with a, a dehydrated grapefruit and some mint syrup. Can you tell which was shot on the EOS R or the 5D Mark IV? Image A or image B? All right, so I came up to the rooftop of, I think it's Native Sun Ale House, and we're doing the shootout up here with the Landscape or Cityscape. So I have the Tiffin filter on. Um, and so this exposure is eight seconds, F22, ISO 100. And so now we're gonna compare these Cityscape images. 5D Mark IV versus Canon EOS R, 
compare them, can you tell the difference? All right, let's go. of time to talk about the last um, portrait shootout between the Canon EOS R and the 5D Mark IV and that's because when I came to the 4th Street Market and went to the patio I found a party and they were um, celebrating one of the family members getting sworn in as an attorney at the nearby Orange County Courthouse and so I asked them if they would mind me taking photos and then one thing turned into another and as soon as I got the light dialed in then we just kind of went through the whole party and took all these amazing portraits which you can see here and um, while it was fun I realized that even though to this point I believe the 5d was outclassing the EOS R in image quality by by hair by a touch when it came to shooting 20 people's portraits I did not touch the 5d mark IV. I shot everything on the EOS R because I love it so much and so I did do a comparison actually one of the ladies in the party asked me hey didn't you say you were going to do camera comparisons I don't see you switching back and forth and I had to be honest I said yeah it's because I love this one so much more and so I shot this portrait of Jerry and uh, he was kind enough to oblige and so here are the portraits side by side can you tell which one is the 5d and which is the Canon EOS R all right, well, the cool thing is I was there on the scene, a photographer, when they're having a family gathering, and I got to email them the photos um, so they can remember that occasion. So that was cool. Um, it's also kind of something I learned about myself is I just dove into the portrait photographer mode and that event photographer mode and really lost myself. And I actually forgot about the video because I was enjoying shooting people's um, portraits. And that's what you want in a camera. So I would say my summary is I think the Canon EOS R is a little more sensitive to light and I think the 5D Mark IV is a, a little bit darker but it gets a little more richness in those hues. Um, I can not really tell the pictures apart honestly when I, when I see them side by side. Having worked with the images um, and post-processing and tweaking them, um, I, don't, I can tell them apart but I don't, I don't see a strong um, win or victory of the 5D Mark IV, even though I think that it, it comes out a little bit ahead. But in terms of ergonomics and ease of use and joy shooting, I won't even touch the 5D Mark IV. So that's, that's it. That's the summary. All right. If you like this video, actually like it. And if you would leave a comment and tell me what you think about the 5D and then Canon EOS R. Actually, I'm thinking with the R5 coming out and all these others uh, that are going to be high priced and people are going to be getting rid of their 5D, I might pick up a 5D Mark IV. Um, so that's a great camera and it performs amazingly if you're not, you know, needing the flip out touch screen and all the other EOS R features. Um, so that's it. Um, subscribe, click the little bell, be notified and Thank you for joining me. I appreciate you. I'm having fun on this channel. I'm almost to 1,100, 1,200 subscribers. And so that's been cool. Um, and so maybe I should do a giveaway. I should have done a giveaway when I hit 1,000, but thinking about doing a giveaway. Hmm, what should I give away? Hmm, maybe a Godox softbox. That's cool. They're 99 bucks. I, hmm, maybe. Let's think about it. Peace.